everyone, this is a video on how to make a hamster igloo thing. Um, so what you need is a ruler, a pencil, some, or a, yeah, a pencil, and some scissors, and some card. Now what you're going to do is you're going to draw um, a 12 centimeters by 12 centimeters squares, do five of them, so that you have that. If you didn't get that, then it will be in the description bar. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, I do have five. Oh, it's only gone all dark. Just put the lamp on. Um, so, yeah, you need five of them. Five of that. And then... If you, um, if on each you attach on a, no, never mind, just, just ignore what I just said. Um, so, you do five pieces, <laughs> I've been speaking for a while, um, you're going to line them up with each other, and then, there's a little gap between, you can't see, can you? Oh, one sec. You're gonna get um, three of them lined up together. And then, oh, yeah, you'll also need some tape, by the way. Oh, how can I miss that out? Um, I'll just be one second. some tape like this and then you're gonna get some more with a very very slight gap in between it we're just gonna put the tape on okay so push it down uh, keep it still when you push it down Try not to make it wonky, like I just did. <gasps> okay, right, that was dodgy. Make sure the corners like line up. I'm doing sub for sub, by the way. And whoever requests gets sub, and whoever um not comments nicely gets a sub. And if you do all three. Then I will, ooh, I will rate thumbs up on 10 new videos and subscribe. I think that's a good deal. Because <laughs> I'm kind of desperate. So, like that. So, the reason you want a little gap is so that you can still fold it up and everything and back. Because you want the tape to be on the inside. So, <coughs> so you get some more tape here. Uh, get the corners lined it up. Sorry I'm taking so long. You probably just want me to get on with it. Um, but, yeah. Ooh, Hoover. Vacuum cleaner. One more. I do want it to be secure enough for him since he is a pretty heavy hamster. Well, he's not actually heavy, but he's, he's like one piece of card won't be enough for him. But I'm just doing it to show you, because I'm so nice to you guys. And I also spent like six quid on you, because um, I bought some Carefresh Ultra so that I could do a review for you. So, it will be like that. Um, and now you're going to get one more of your squares and line it up with the middle one, like that, and then 
tape it on. And you do want to look out for where the coins are. You don't have to use black card, um, but I'm using it because it. My hamster likes it when it's nice and dark. That's so sometimes you need to put like a towel over the bed or something if you got one of the critter chair ones. Okay, one more. I do like three, three bits of tape on each. And this is magic tape, by the way. That means you could write on it. Um. And it's actually a lot cheaper than the other stuff. So, so like, this is going to be the back. And what you're going to do now is with your last square, you're going to cut a little arch that you think your hamster will be able to get through. Or if you want, you can use your toilet paper tube to help, which I'm going to do in a minute. One sec. is I've done a line down rather than going round to the bottom I did a line down just because I'm nice um another one it doesn't have to be perfect he needs as long as like he won't get paper cuts or anything I know that sounds kind of stupid but you don't want your hamster to get paper cuts okay then you then you just cut it out and then you'll have the entrance to the igloo thing. You can just decorate it if you want or something, but I can't be bothered to do that right now. I'm just keeping it black. Um, mm. So that's going to be like black. And then to that end one you had before, that to this end one that you've just stuck down, I'm gonna tape that on. Sorry if this video is long, but it will be worth it when it's finished. Ouch! I think I just twisted my wrist. Oops. I've done it on the outside again. That's what I did in my last video. Okay, right, I'll just turn it around. Yeah, so you twist it around. There might be a part two. If if I say there is at the end, then you can look out for that. Of me with my hamster inside it and stuff. So, and now, what you're gonna do is it's like this long shape like that goes up. So, you're gonna yeah, there you go. uh, get these two flaps that are single, the single flaps up like that, and then you're gonna get the, this third one up. So, it's like that. So you can just glue that bit down. I'm going to try doing it on the inside because I think it looks better. You don't have to, but it's harder, but it looks better. Um, you might have to bend it a bit. There we go. That's that, and then the same with the other bit. This is going to be harder because there's that other piece of card is stuck up now. Um, if you've got dwarf hamsters, you can make it smaller. 
Um, and you don't even have to do this shape for a Syrian. You can make it bigger or smaller, but as long as they can actually get through and they're not like being cramped. And I would give them another choice for a bed as well, just in case. Like, so they can choose where they sleep. They do like that. Okay, and then finally, when it's like that, you just put this one over. Oh, yeah, over. And then take it. Uh, you can push it down if you want to make it like slightly flat. To make it easier. Ooh, 10 minutes 44. My limit's 15 minutes, so I'm going to be quick. And I'm not going to rush it too much, so I want it to look nice still for him. And finally, we do the last side. I wouldn't do a bottom on it because if it gets dirty, like he wheeze in it or something, then then it will soak through the paper and you can't wash it. Um, so it will go on through the bedding underneath instead. And there is your little hat. There you are. It's nice and dark and cosy for him. And if you get your tube again, wherever it is, <laughs> you can slot it through like that. Oh dear. <laughs> Never mind. I guess that's fine. So your hands will like it. If they start chewing it, and I take it out, because it might not be good for them. Um. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs> and thank you for watching. Bye-bye. If you sub, I'll subscribe to you. I think I've said all that. And bye. <laughs> the next video will be a cage tour showing you. It as well. Bye.